Hey guys, I've been looking forward to today's video for weeks. Uh, I've got Brant from Out Camp, a local Adelaide business down with me. He's brought his boat down. We're heading out on the river for three days straight. Oh, I can't wait to do this. I've never spent three days moving along the river. I've always been limited by roads with the car. So to be able to go out in a boat and camp along the river anywhere we want is gonna be amazing. We've fully overloaded the boat. Way more stuff than two blokes need for three days. So it's going to be very interesting, but I can't wait. All right, let's get the boat on the water. So the old customs house where we're taking off from, it's located on the SA, Vic and New South Wales border. Uh, and you'll see from the map here, they actually stuffed up when they were marking out the borders. And there's a huge gap where the borders don't align. It's something not a lot of people know about, but it's really fascinating. Uh, we'll try and find the marker soon where the borders meet. There's a little plaque and everything else. Oh, I can't wait to get on the water. So we've gone a whole 200 metres from where we took off the old customs house. The boat was absolutely struggling to get up onto the plane because we've lo overloaded it so much. So we're going to change the prop. Hopefully that helps us out. But this is not a bad spot to stop. Look at this. Cliffs already. And we're on a nice sandbar already. So many sandbars to explore. Can't wait to check them out. So we're hoping to get less top speed but more torque to help us get up onto the plane. And this has taken less than five minutes. Stopped for lunch already. We're only about half hour down the river. Um, cook some lunch up, have some fish, nice shady spot here. We're still in South Australia, so we can't have a campfire just yet, but for tea, we'll be in Victoria and New South Wales, so we'll be able to have a campfire tonight. Looking forward to it, cooking tea on fire. He's on already. One minute in the water. Oh, oh no, that was huge. Whatever that was, it was massive. I've never ever caught one. Hey, he's got himself a catfish. Um, how did he do this? <laughs> didn't, we didn't think that through. <laughs> he's gonna try and land it somehow with the through a bimini. Can he get it up onto the bank? It's a decent size. Centimeters. Murray River catfish. Never seen one. All packed up now. Had our feed. Caught a catfish. <laughs> I got one carp. Uh, we're gonna keep going now. See where we end up. So we got SA that side and New South Wales that side. And just across the other side, we'll go across the monument in a minute. Is Victoria. These borders are really messed up. So we've reached McCabe Corner now. There's a little monument here. And another one just over here. So this side of the bank here is all Victoria. So you've got Victoria this side of the bank. New South Wales over there. And South Australia over there, all three states. You cannot get to this site um, by road. You can only access it through the river or you've got a huge, about a three and a half K walk to get here. The things we do to get drone shots.
at our intended first camp for the night, Devil's Elbow. Uh, it's about halfway to where we want to go along. Trouble is though, the water is still up that high here. This is all just clay still. Uh, the sandbar is actually supposed to be where these trees are out there, but it's still all underwater. This is why we wanted to stay here. Look at those cliffs in the background. That is just beautiful. We're gonna go down about 100, maybe 200 meters that way where the ground's a bit firmer. Camp there, get the drone up, and we'll have a look at these beautiful cliffs. So we just pulled up about 100 meters down. Just quickly dumped our stuff for now. Brant is across the river at the moment, uh, swimming, see if we can find some mussels under the water. Already quickly got the fire going. Trying to set up the swags and then get the drone up. So Brian, I want to thank you for today. That was absolutely amazing. We've seen some beautiful stuff. I've never been this far down the river and this campsite tonight is amazing. We're about to cook tea over the fire. Um, we haven't done it yet, so why don't we tell everyone what you do and what you sort of sell? Um, most of what I do is bags for your camping and caravanning. So this is a waterproof bag, but a lot of it's just for general caravan accessories from generators, camping toilets, your little barbecues, your Weber ziggies and whatnot. And I do a bit of custom work as well, but yeah, generally it's bags for the outdoor industry and caravanning and the adventurers that get out for driving and enjoying the outdoors. Uh, next video, guys, I'll show you some of the products that he does. Uh, getting, We're losing light very fast now. We're gonna cook some dinner over the fire and probably sit back and have a few beers. And then tomorrow we start all again and with another video tomorrow. But thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.